So my name is Tomasz Nowak and I would like to present the results of my and Professor Piotr Krzypczyński work, which is entitled Geometry Aware Keypoint Network and led accurate prediction of point features in changing scenario. And let's move to, to the agenda of, of my presentation. Uh, first, I will introduce and uh, draw a background of our research. Uh, later, I will discuss the, the, our solution uh, and approach to, to the problem. Later, I will uh, describe the experiment and discuss the results. And at the end, I will conclude uh, our work. Uh, so going further, uh, those research presented uh, in this paper and in this presentation uh, was a follow-up uh, of the research project which aims to uh, design the advanced driver assistance system uh, that supports bus drivers direct maneuver of docking to the charging station. Uh, we can see in the picture on the right, uh, there is a electric city bus, which is docked to the charging station visible above. And in the inset image on the right, there is a sensory unit uh, with the camera uh, and the GPS antenna mounted. And uh, on the pictures on the left inset, uh, we can see the, the uh, grand true key points, which we are trying to uh, detect uh, on the image. And below there are uh, the uncertainty uh, ellipses, which are predicted to, to describe the uncertainty of, of our predictions. Uh, the, the key assumptions uh, during, during uh, this research was that to localize the electric bus uh, with respect to the charging stations, we are using a molecular camera, RGB camera, and we will know the 3D model of the charging pylon with, with the head. And using those assumptions, uh, we, we designed the, the processing pipeline, uh, which consists of object detection, which is out of scope of, of this uh, paper, uh, so we are assuming that we, we, as the input, we are using the, the cropped image uh, that contains uh, the charging head with the pearl. And later there is the key point detection uh, network, which uh, is uh, discussed uh, in this paper, that consists of the HRNet backbone and two heads, one that, keep, uh, that predicts key points and the second one that predicts uncertainty of our prediction. And having uh, detected those uh, 2D key points on the image, we are using the perspective endpoint algorithm uh, to estimate the transformation between the camera and the, and the object, in our case, uh, the charging station. Uh, and those steps also is out of scope of this, of this uh, presentation. Going further, a uh, few words about the HRNet. Uh, those net was uh, designed and widely used in the human pose estimation uh, task, as we can see on the right. And the, the most, in, in my opinion, uh, the most crucial uh, uh, aspect of this net is that this net uh, processes uh, image in a few uh, streams and is designed to um, uh, have the uh, maximum resolution, so to keep the maximum resolution of processes, processes uh, feature maps, as we can see on the, on the top of the image on the right, uh, that does, uh, and those feature maps uh, aren't downsampled. Uh, and the, the, here we can see that uh, we can achieve the maximum uh, accuracy of the predicting the prediction, and those streams below are are uh, down uh, down sampled, and are um, um, focusing on more complex features. And having the, those assumptions and those background, uh, we put a hypothesis that we can. Uh, improve the accuracy of uh, post estimation pipeline uh, by using the knowledge about 3D model of an object. 
and uh, so let's move to the uh, our our proposed uh, solution. We designed the the networks uh, that uh, takes uh, our image with the charging station as input. Uh, those images put to the backbone network HR net, uh, which I described uh, earlier. And those backbone network output the feature map, which are further processed by the key point head, which consists of the um, customizable number of the deconvolution block. Uh, each deconvolution block uh, increases the resolution of processed map uh, twice, uh, so we can uh, design different uh, versions of our network. And later, there are uh, also customizable number of uh, convolution blocks, uh, which consists of uh, convolution, batch normalization, and real uh, activation uh, function. And at the end of the key point head, there are, uh, in our case, four, because we are predicting four points. Uh, a convolution uh, layer that outputs four uh, heat maps, each, one, uh, each heat map for one uh, predicted uh, point. And below there is the uncertainty head, which consists of stack of, uh, in summary, four uh, convolution blocks. Uh, with decreasing number of channels. And at the end, we are predicting uh, 36 uh, scalar values, uh, which forms the covariance matrix. I will describe the details uh, later. During, during training of our um, network, uh, we use the loss function as uh, it's uh, printed in below. Uh, the first uh, loss, loss uh, is the mean square error loss, which uh, penalizes the, um, which compares the, our, our output with grand truth uh, localization of key points. Uh, the second part is the, our uh, novel reprojection loss, uh, which penalizes the physically, um, physically impossible configuration. I will describe uh, this also later. And the last part is the loss of uncertainty, which uh, helps to train the uncertainty head. So let's move to the details. Uh, our reprojection loss, uh, as I said, uh, penalizes uh, spatial configurations that are physically not possible in assumed search space. Uh, that search space is uh, visible on the on the image. Uh, so we re restricted the space to to circa 40, 50 meters uh, from the charging station, and uh, we also add a constraint to the angle of the bus, plus plus minus 22 and uh, and a half of degree. And uh, let's move to the details of the reprojection loss. Uh, we are trying to find the, the transformation T star, uh, which minimizes the reprojection error uh, of uh, 3D points uh, to the image. So uh, here U and V with a tilde uh, is a cord are a coordinates of our key points, uh, uh, our 3D points projected uh, onto the image using some transformation T and uh, a known uh, camera matrix K. And U and V with a hat are a predicted uh, coordinate to the, uh, of our 2D key points. And we are minimizing here uh, the square, uh, the, this, uh, the reproduction loss over all four uh, key points. And having that, that optimum uh, transformation T star, uh, we are calculating the reprojection loss, which, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, simply, simply speaking, uh, that, that uh, reprojection error. So, so repeating uh, what I said before, pi is a projection uh, function using our optimum T star transformation and K, uh, as I said, camera matrix, and uh, omega i, 
is a coordinate uh, of uh, um, 3D point. And we are uh, subtracting the, the predicted points, uh, squaring and summing over all uh, key points. Uh, this was the reprojection loss. Uh, let's move to the uncertainty estimation. We are estimating eight uh, times eight uh, symmetric covariance matrix. Uh, to achieve that, uh, we are um, estimating a lower triangular matrix L uh, that consists of, uh, in our case, 36 uh, scalar values, uh, as I said before. And by multiplying uh, that matrix L by L transpose, we are uh, uh, achieving a symmetric positive defined covariance matrix sigma. And the loss function uh, is also sum over uh, all four key points uh, of the logarithm uh, of the determinant of sigma matrix uh, plus uh, here P uh, are the ground truth uh, location of our key points. C with hat uh, is, uh, are the coordinates of predicted key points. And here are uh, inverse of sigma, sigma matrix. And here the, the, it's repeated the same, the, the same factor that consists of P minus uh, C hat. Uh, that forms the uncertainty uh, loss in our case. And uh, this was uh, inspired by the uh, conference paper, which, which is cited below. And also we, we implemented the sanity check procedure uh, in our post-processing post step. And that is um, also based on uh, finding the optimum C star transformation. And we are uh, first uh, uh, in the first step, we are calculating the distance between the, uh, our predicted points and those points projected using uh, our optimum uh, T-star transformation. And then we are looking for the cases when uh, error, reprojection error uh, of one point is uh, two times larger than mean of the other three errors. Uh, in other words, we are looking for for that configuration when one point is much farther than, than the others uh, comparing to our optimum T-star transformation. And in that case, we are assuming that uh, for that one point there was uh, a misprediction and those points is uh, uh, wrongly, wrongly detected. And to fix that uh, failed detection, we are returning uh, the key point locations uh, that, uh, that are estimated using uh, our T star transformation. So not, we are not using the, the predicted key points uh, directly, but we are using uh, the 3D key points projected onto image using uh, that T star transformation. And we are uh, trying to fix uh, that wrongly, wrong detection. Let's move to the experience. Uh, we evaluated our solution uh, of, uh, on over uh, 1,200 uh, 12, 12, images in the evaluation data set. Uh, the ground truth position we obtained from DGPL, uh, which uh, give uh, our uh, centimeter level uh, accuracy of uh, pulse estimation. And the metrics we are used that we are using uh, are um, median of 2D translation error, median of uh, rotation error, and the per percentage of accepted detections. And the, the formula is uh, shown below. Uh, we assume that uh, detection is should be accepted when the uh, reprojection error comparing to the our grant truth from DGPS is less than D in our case 10 pixels um, 10 pixels so we are um, in other words uh, we are projection pro projecting uh, 3d uh, charger points onto the image using our grant truth position from DGPS and we are comparing this with uh, with our predictions. Uh, 
uh, and those metrics uh, give us uh, a knowledge about the number of um, how to say roughly roughly correct detections that are close to close to the the truth. And here is a table with results of our work. Uh, on the on the first two rows, we are comparing to the state of the art uh, network, which was which is quite similar to our approach. Uh, as we can see, this network uh, works uh, relatively slow comparing to our solutions, and the errors are also large. Uh, the version Papangero plus refine is the version that uh, uh, implements our sanity check in post-processing step. Uh, we can see that uh, in that case, our post-processing uh, doesn't uh, bring uh, good good results. And let's move to the comparison of uh, our uh, our network. So heat map size uh, 128 times 128 means that we are not using uh, any the convolution block. We are taking the, the uh, feature maps in the resolution as is uh, from the backbone network. And here baseline is uh, without uh, reprojection loss and without uh, sanity check. Refined means that we are using sanity check in the post-processing step. And GIKN uh, means that we are using our reprojection node. Uh, it's a gentle reminder, there are three minutes left. OK, thank Sorry. you. And here you can see that uh, our GIKN network with uh, reprojection loss uh, have a good influence on the translation and rotation error. We are decreasing that error. And uh, the second uh, thought is that our sanity check in post-processing uh, reduces uh, the ratio of wrongly detected points or imp improve the percentage of accepted detections and increasing the heat map size, so adding uh, the convolutional blocks also uh, improves our results. So we are achieving uh, the best, uh, the lowest translation error about 30 centimeters and the best ratio of accepted detection about 96,6%. And a few words about the uncertainty uh, results. Uh, here we can see that uh, using the uh, one, two, and three sigma uh, rule, uh, maybe not uh, perfectly, but uh, roughly we are uh, comparing to, 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 to the rule of uh, 68, uh, 95, and 99 per percent. And we can see on the picture that the uncertain estimated uncertainty uh, is changing depending, for example, uh, with the distance from the uh, charger. Uh, to conclude uh, those presentation, um, we can uh, say that knowledge about 3D model of considered objects improves accuracy of post estimation. Uh, our sanity check procedure uh, that leverages uh, 3D model of considered objects can fix uh, many invalid detections. And the uncertainty estimated by our network is reasonable and changing uh, and changes uh, depending on the distance, angle, and weather conditions. Uh, so thank you for your attention, and if there are any questions, I will be happy to answer. Uh, thank you very much. So we still have time for one or two questions, so please go ahead if you have any. If, okay, yeah, yeah, yes. I, uh, I have a question about the, uh, about the HRNet that you are using for, for uh, post estimation. Yes. Uh, I think uh, it, regarding the uh, the uh, computational time this tool is somehow dominating your approach or not so it, it, it requires a, a, a solid and a very powerful machine I think to uh, reach your um, real time conditions uh, concerning the real time uh, we are achieving here uh, 
um, in the best case is uh, 35 milliseconds. And uh, I didn't say that in those pipeline, but those uh, predictions uh, from from those networks. That, does it include the uh, this HR net or not? Yes, yes, this includes HRNet. This is the whole processing pipeline uh, from from the input to the output. So HRNet is is combined uh, is into into our solution. We are processing this in one step during one one processing step. Okay, thank you. Um, 